All right, guys, these are your messages for December 7th morning, but the messages are timeless. Whenever you see them, you might just see them, take it resonates, and leave it doesn't. Let's get it. You have everything you need inside of you, really. You don't need anything external to you to complete you, make you happy, have peace, inspiration, creativity, or guidance. Go within, sit in solitude, and tune in to seek what you to find what you seek. A wealth of knowledge is within yourself waiting to be discovered. Um I had this, I think we we had this message like not too long ago, maybe two days ago, um, on the messages. But if you if you haven't seen them, it's you should go back on the previous messages because I think this will probably link into it but um there is this thing where we're <laughs> there's this thing where people feel as though they're not um it's kind of similar to like destination happiness where people say like I can only be happy I'll only be happy and satisfied when x y and z is fulfilled or when x y and z happens or when i'm with x y and z do you know what i'm saying or like like i'm only gonna go running if the, the temperature is x y and z and you know the sun is at this angle and all these you know what i'm saying it's kind of this type of energy where people a lot of people feel as though they're not they're not a whole complete being like just in themselves like and that's not true you are absolutely whole you have the divine feminine and the divine masculine within yourself you have masculine and feminine within yourself you have uh, you have shadow and light aspects within yourself you you literally are one whole being just in just just by yourself and everything that you need I know it sounds super cliche and I'd be so tired of hearing it myself, um, but it is really true that everything that you need ultimately to succeed, to be happy, to be creative, um, to to thrive, to be successful, um, to do all the things that you think you need somebody or something external to you to do, be it, oh, like I can't, I can't um, create unless I use substances or if, unless I drink or unless X, Y, and Z, and that's not the case. Um, or like, I'm not going to be able to be happy. I'm not, I'm not good. I'm not any good unless I have a person, you know, I need to have a companion in order for me to, and that's, that's really not true. You, you cannot seek externally to you to fulfill the void that is within you. That's why a lot of people who have millions and billions and trillions of dollars are still super unhappy and, and throwing shade and, and negative energy at people who have less than them. It's because there is no amount of money or exter external things or materialistic things that earth can offer that will fulfill the void that is missing within them. And it is because that void is coming from them not going within themselves and sitting and reconciling the parts within them. That is the inner child that's doing the inner child healing. That's doing the that's doing the reconciliation of the masculine and the feminine within oneself. That's reconnecting the heart, body, mind, soul. That's a, the, these are the things that make people feel as though like if if any one of your chakras is is blocked or you're not in touch with, you know what I'm saying? Like if you have a root chakra block, that means that you're going you're feeling unstable, you're not feeling grounded, you don't feel safe or secure. So you're looking for somebody external to you to then provide that security, stability, protection and safety to you. But the only thing that you really need to do is rectify your root chakra wounding and that 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 wound typically comes from something from the inner child so it's something that happened to you from childhood trauma what happened did you get did your parent you know was there was there early um disturbances within your your childhood foundation that made you very early on not feel secure not feel safe not feel protected not feel provided for not feel stable 
These are just examples with heart chakra, same thing. A lot of it stems from something very young, but you, it doesn't matter how many times you try to externally seek outside of you. It will not fulfill you. Even if you have everything materialistic and even if you have a person, like a perfect person, you would still be unhappy because it's your inner being. It's your inner child. It's your soul. You, it's your it's your inner self that is that is missing from you. You're 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 missing that component of self. Um, and you're, it, the longer that you go without going within and reconciling and doing the deep work, doing the healing, the more and more frustrated, trapped, and 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 weighed down and suppressed that you're going to feel you're going to be like this like supernova waiting to explode right to just spontaneously combust and it's it's because it's it's you it's it's you you can't skip or band-aid over or distract yourself with things and people and substances and places you, you have got to go within and use that little lantern and go on in there and sit and sit within the darkness of yourself and really do the deep work. Um, every single thing that you need is really with inside, with, <laughs> within you, it's inside you. And once you start tapping back into these parts of yourself, the floodgates are going to open up and it's gonna be like, oh, <laughs> it's you know what I'm saying you know it's like I have seen it the light <laughs> it's gonna be like this monumentous glorious moment um for you but like you have got to you know just just come on up come on back home to yourself just come on come on come on like just hug yourself just come on back in and just spend some time um getting re-getting to know yourself or or help introducing yourself to self because you know you know but it, this isn't the time to just be you have everything you <laughs> you have everything there's so much waiting to be unlocked and it's crying out at this point to be unlocked within yourself for you to go in and do the deep solitude healing reflection shadow work with oneself and unblock those chakras because it's not external to you that you need nothing there's nothing anybody or anything can offer you that will fill the void it, that a lot of these people this energy that i'm picking up on needs um it, you need yourself you you need yourself and that's that's all facts <laughs> Focus on the positive only. Don't let yourself stay down. Go towards the light. Hey, yo, didn't I say use the, I was like, go on and grab that little lantern. <laughs> go on, grab that little lantern. Grab the, use that light. Focus, <laughs> focus on the positive only. Don't let yourself stay down. Go towards the light. Acknowledge your dark emotions and then release them. Come back into what feels good. Find the little things to appreciate. It's okay to get down, but get back up. So again, it. When you start doing this shadow work, like there's, yeah, there's going to be some stuff that like, you, and that's why a lot of people have been avoiding doing it. Listen, I made a podcast about this. Please go and look at it. It is literally about going from the 3D to the 4D and the 5D and a, why a lot of people don't want to do this process is because you have, you're, when you start getting into doing this, you're going to uncover all the emotions you've been trying to avoid, all the things you've done that were unfavorable that you've been trying to avoid and mask and not face. But you got to do it and just clean that shit out so you can move on, so you can move on past it and focus back on the positive. You have got to do these things um, so you can just go on to the next step. Like it, it's not going to suck forever. But the longer you prolong this stuff, the, the come on, yeah, <laughs> come on, guys, you can do this. Please check out the podcast. It's really, really important, and it'll be really beneficial. But keep your mindset positive. It's not going to be bad forever. I love you guys. B Squad.